Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about what to do when your customer is upset after they paid for a $2,000 ceramic coating. What's going on guys? Luke here, professional detailer in Nashville, Tennessee with Wilson Auto Detailing. Listen, before we get into this reality show level dramatic content, make sure if you are interested in getting into paint correction and ceramic coatings but you don't really know where to start, go below in the YouTube description box. I've got a free five-part video series called the Ceramic Coating Quick Start. We're going to teach you not only how to get into ceramic coatings and paint correction in this risk-free way so you don't damage anything, but also how to turn these skills actually into money in your business because we're gonna teach you guys how to start bringing in customers to this part of your business. Again, the link is in the YouTube description box below. Totally free. Now let's get into the content. Many years ago now when I was still a rookie in the detailing business but I was getting into ceramic coatings, I had a customer call, ask for a ceramic coating on their Mustang. This was not an old Mustang but and it was one of those situations where the customer immediately asked for a ceramic coating, didn't need to be sold on anything, didn't need anything explained to him, just wanted the job done, wanted the car protected and because I was so excited about getting the business because I didn't do a lot of ceramic coatings back then, I immediately took the job, did the job and it was it wasn't until after he started to say some pretty discouraging things. The very first thing the customer said when he saw his Mustang in the garage was, this thing doesn't look like the pictures. And what he meant was the pictures, the videos he had seen online of certain cars being ceramic coated, he was comparing it to that saying, this doesn't look anything like I expected to look. And the second thing is kind of when my heart went to my knees, which was when he said, do you really expect me to pay the full price for a job like this? Now at this point, I was backed into a corner and there was not a lot that I could do in a situation like this. So I simply asked him to explain what was going on in his head. What were the things that didn't meet the expectations? expectation and he started to list them out like this. The first thing that he mentioned was the scratches, the imperfections particularly on the front and the roof of the car, the front grille and the roof. And then number three, there were specific parts of the car because this particular car he had bought at auction and it had sat outside for a little over a year completely not maintained. So there were certain areas of the car that weren't the glass or the paint that needed to be essentially replaced like the windshield wipers. Literally just as easy as it would have been to replace the windshield wipers, they needed to be replaced. They were completely faded, they were kind of speckled, there were some peeling areas. Also the mechanical arms that actually hold the windshield wipers completely degraded, completely burned by the sun. There were some chrome pieces that lined the car that needed to be completely replaced because they were peeling. So small areas that really didn't have anything to do with the ceramic coating or paint correction or anything like that but needed to be replaced in order to pull the entire look together. Now these days in my detailing business I do ceramic coating and paint correction every single week, if not most days during the week. And just the other day, I was doing some simple paint correction with some simple ceramic coating afterwards on this Toyota Prius, and it brought to mind this particular memory. See, what most detailers fall victim to, and it's not really their fault, is because they struggle so deeply to actually get customers in the door, they often say yes right off the bat to anybody who comes in the door, and there's a bit of a lack of communication or a lack of relational building in the beginning stages because they just want to get to the job and get the money in the door because they're kind of desperate for the cash in the beginning stages of their business and they're not seeing a lot of customers anyways. The problem with this is obvious. If you don't have the right conversation with the customer before the detail starts, during the detail, and after the detail is over, you're setting yourself up for problems just like I just described. Many detailers ask me, how do I deal with unhappy customers? And the simple answer is dealing with unhappy customers comes in the before. It's the conversation you have on on the front end. Now because I talk about the before conversation so much on this channel, I want to talk about something else that can be done during the detail and what I did during the ceramic coating process and prep process just the other day when I was prepping this vehicle. In the preparation stage, you get an even better insight into the scratches, into the wheel rash, into the bug etchings, into the freckling, into the fish eyes, into the oxidation, into the random isolated deep scratches that are all over the car and I often often actually document by taking pictures of any more major imperfection or something I think the customer might not have seen. This is actually not for liability issues because rarely does a customer actually blame you or blame me for doing something though that can happen. But this is rather to continue to manage the expectation even in the during the detail stage and like I said when I was applying the ceramic coating and doing the paint correction just a couple days ago this came to mind. The reason why my customer was so upset with me years ago 
with is because there was a big gap between what he paid and what he expected and the simple answer to that is like I said having the before conversation. Now it's particularly important to take this seriously in the preparation stage of any paint correction and ceramic coating because when you uncover and strip all the paint that is when you begin to see everything on the paint that was not necessarily visible before. Where was the first area I went wrong with the customer? Saying yes so quickly without actually diving into the details of what they should expect. Now the second and last place where I went wrong with this particular customer is not taking into account the areas that actually are on the car and are not going to be addressed by me during the paint correction or the ceramic coating process. These areas exist on every single car, always and forever, and unless the car is garage kept, maintained on a regular basis, certain parts of the car are going to fall apart over time. The rubber seals that make the windows watertight, the windshield wipers, the front chrome bumpers, the black trim, and if the customer isn't aware of that effect after everything is said and done, when you're offering higher ticket services like this, it can be very off-putting to the customer and really cause you some problems. Now I want to give you guys an example of what a conversation pre-detail would look like in my particular world with a customer like I'm describing years ago or even this Toyota Prius that's been prepped, paint corrected, and ceramic coated. And let's set up the context here. The customer has a Prius that is not maintained, it's not well kept, and it's not even going to continue to be maintained very well, but they do want some sort of ceramic protection on it and they don't want to pay a really high price. Here's the way this conversation from my end would begin with the customer. Hey Jennifer, all of that totally makes sense. Thank you for explaining that to me. Listen, there's a couple things that I want to touch on here before you make any decisions. Number one, it sounds to me like you're saying you do want some sort of longer term protection on the paint that is this kind of ceramic protection, the word that you've heard thrown around. Maybe some ceramic protection on the paint, you actually mentioned that word. And yes, ceramic protection is relatively expensive, but there are actually some options that are going to give you some pretty good protection that are not necessarily in that traditional sense of the word ceramic, so it's going to be far less expensive. In addition to that, with your particular Prius, like you said, it's kept outside, it's not maintained. So a solution that people a lot of times really like is we can address a lot of the surface level imperfections in your paint, which basically means we can get that thing back to a point where when you look at it in the sun, it looks absolutely awesome. People are like, man, is that a new car? But when you get closer, you're going to see some of those basic imperfections like the deep scratches, the deep etchings, the things that are on every single vehicle, but before we put the ceramic protection on there, we want to get a little bit of that paint correction surface level enhancement done. So listen, I know you mentioned seeing a lot of ceramic coating prices being around $1,800 to $2,500 based on what you think you were looking for, but after this conversation, it seems like you're a little bit more clear on what you want, and we're able to get in the area of what you want at less than $1,200. So if that price suits the budget that you're looking for like it sounds like it is, I would love to talk a little bit bit more about the things that you can expect will still be there and the things that you can expect to be gone by the time we're finished. And then when we actually see you in person, I'd love to walk around the car with you as well just to point out those things in person so you have a really good idea. We'll take pictures during the process and do the exact same thing afterwards, but we have a feeling that you're going to really, really like the end result and probably not even notice those small imperfections that we point out. Does that kind of make sense to you? Now you guys can probably see how powerful a conversation like that is is with a customer, especially when they're unsure, they call asking about ceramic coatings, they're used to these really high prices. Now, don't get me wrong, we charge very high prices for our ceramic coatings, generally $2,000, $3,000, but the point being here is we are adjusting what we have based on what the customer needs and particularly hedging our bets and liability post ceramic coating so that we don't have another customer like I did so many years ago who pays $2,000 for something that they're actually pretty disappointed in because that's not good for anybody. So as hard as it is often on the front end because we always want to say yes immediately to any kind of business, doing the hard work by having the harder conversations on the front end of the equation is how you eliminate the problem on the back end of the equation with a customer paying two grand for something they're not actually excited about. And this is exactly what we had to do, not only holistically with the Toyota Prius, but also with each stage. We broke down the prep stage, we broke down the polishing stage, we broke 
broke down the ceramic coating stage, exactly what type of product we were using and why, and this is what allowed us to move through that process really seamlessly with a customer that was really excited about the end result. Now guys, remember if you are interested in getting more info on paint correction and ceramic coatings, getting into the business for yourself, make sure to go below in the YouTube description box, grab my free five part video series, The Ceramic Coating Quick Start. There is no catch. In fact, check out this email right here. I had a guy email me saying, hey, I just got your free video series and I was looking for the catch and there isn't one. Why are you giving out this information for free? The reason why I'm giving out this information for free is because I wish I would have had it years ago and I think it's really gonna help you guys who are getting into the detailing business or just upping your skill level in the detailing business by starting to do high ticket services like paint correction and ceramic coatings. Guys, if you like content like this, hit the subscribe button and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video.